Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I went to a high fitness class, which if you're not familiar with high fitness, high fitness, it's basically just like an aerobics class, but you do like a lot of burpees and um, it's an hour long and it's, it's intense. It's high fitness. Um, and my back started to hurt a little bit during that class, so I had to take it down a notch. Um, I wanted to go for a run today, but it's so like cold and snowy and there's like snow on the road and I told myself I wasn't going to go for a run if I didn't feel well, like I didn't feel like I wanted to go for a run or if there was like ice or snow on the ground because I don't want to risk like tripping or falling or whatever. Anyway, so I went to high fitness instead and yeah, it was tough. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to be able to continue going to that class because it was hard. It was hard on my body. Um, but I'm so glad I went. Um, I took a few breaks in the class to just stretch and stuff like that. So I'm 22 weeks today and this belly is getting very large and in charge. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to work out. But I'm going to head downstairs and eat some avocado toast and then it's Saturday so I have chores and things I need to get done. So that's the plan for today. And this seasoning from Trader Joe's is like the best thing on avocado toast as well as, of course, like fresh ground salt. Oh, so good. I want to know what's your guys' like cleaning schedule, rotation, whatever. Like I usually do most of my cleaning on Saturday, sometimes Friday because whew, I'm out of breath because I work full time. So Saturday is generally the day where we do a lot of our cleaning or I'll do it like Friday evening, some of it. So anyway, I wanna know, when do you guys clean? We always like wash the sheets usually on Saturday. And then I try to upkeep like and do some of the cleaning just throughout the week so that I don't have to do all of it on Saturday. Like maybe mop in the middle of the week or clean a bathroom or something in the middle of the week. Anyway, what do you guys do? Also, one thing I am really looking forward to in the new year is redoing this room, our master bedroom, um, getting a new bed, getting a new bedspread. Our stuff is old and like we just kind of inherited a lot of the furniture we have so we're going to be doing redoing our master bedroom sometime in the coming year. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to you know get some new like end tables or whatever. Is that what you call those? Like side tables? nightstands, new dresser, that sort of thing. So that will be very fun in the new year. Hey you guys, okay, so I got showered, got ready for the day. Um, we are gonna go see Mary Poppins with our friends and Anyway, so that's what's happening later this evening, but um, I've been cleaning and, sorry, there's dogs barking. Um, I've been cleaning and I've been organizing some things, you know, it's like the end of the year, the new year's starting, and so we've got all of that planning going on and, you know. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys the planner I use. Um, just because I looked for the longest time for a planner that I would actually like and one that's not super expensive so I just want to show you guys this because I was doing some planning in it and I was like I think that my friends on YouTube might appreciate this but anyway so this is just from Target you guys it's like $15 I think and it's called the Day Designer um, and I'm pretty sure they have a ton of different designs. I actually got this one in July, um, but I think I might get a new one here in the next couple days because I want to have one for the full year of 2019 to like look back on. Um, but the reason why I love it is it has um, the way it's laid out. So it has like the month, you know, but then, um, and I like that it's like a full spread of the month. But then on the days, this is what I love about it. Um, let me show you. So, on like the weeks, 
that has it like, because I like to look at things a week and like at a glance, you know. So um, it has like the whole week, and then it has like today's top three right here. And so you put like three things that you like have to get done that day, <laughs> um, or that you're trying to get done that day, and then you put that there, and then it has like from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then it has a little box for tonight and I just love this layout it has worked so well um, I like that it has the top three things there because that really helps me stay focused and then when I have things going on just like during the week um, like I wrote this little giveaway thing that's for work because I handle like social media accounts and stuff so I write it in like in advance so I know that week sometime I'm going to be doing I guess this giveaway so I have to like keep that in mind. Um, so I'll just write like little notes and stuff like up above that I need to keep in mind for the whole week I guess. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday doesn't have a ton of like stuff on it but that's okay. I usually just write like what I'm going to be cleaning or organizing that weekend because that's usually what I like to do. Um, or if we have like an actual event or something going on or like we've made plans with friends um, or family then I write that in and the time so anyway um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys this because I think it's cool to see how other people plan and what they use and it, like gives you ideas um, I'm such a planner I love to plan things out I like it's so satisfying for me. Um, and the thing about this planner too, you can, it also has like stickers and stuff in the front, which I've used, but I don't use a ton, but it's like satisfies that um, need for stickers. Like a lot of people love it with planners. Uh, I just think it's a good value, like 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure this was $14.99. Um, it's just, Really nice. And then you can also bookmark it. it has this little bookmark thing. Um, anyway, so let me know what you guys like to use to plan, like what planners you like. Um, and I would love to know if you guys like want any other type of like dedicated planning videos, like how I plan, um, I don't know, like my cleaning routine, because we talked a little bit about that today. And um, how I plan, like meal plan, um, all that kind of stuff. Because I love planning videos. I watch them all the time. Um, but if you guys want me to do one, I can certainly do that if there's some requests for that. Um, I also wanted to share what book I've been listening today to today while I've been cleaning and stuff. Um, I just do Audible. I just have my little AirPods right here. I just have my little AirPods. And I list like walk around the house cleaning and today I am listening to Becoming by Michelle Obama um, it's just super interesting like getting an insight into her life growing up and you know how she met Barack Obama and um, their relationship and stuff um, if you're part of the infertility community you probably already know that um, she talks she, like she talked about how she did IVF and stuff um, in this book for the first time. That's the first time she talked about it, and so it became quite the buzz, um, not just in the infertility world and the IVF world, but like um, people just found that fact, like interesting that she's just now coming out talking about that. Anyway, so I haven't gone to that part yet, um, but I've heard it's just a little tiny spot in the book anyway. But so far the book is good. I really love autobiographies. Um, I love learning, like getting insight into people's lives that, especially, you know, like celebrities or um, famous people. I don't know. I just think it's interesting to learn that they're just like us. <laughs> that sounds silly. I don't know. It's just kind of like entertaining for me. Um, Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to today. 
I would love to hear if you guys have any other suggestions, like audible book suggestions. I um, I listen to, like I said, like autobiographies. I really like those. And I also listen to, um, just I'm trying to look at my library here. Let's see. I listen to like, um, you know, I listened to Girl, Wash Your Face. Everyone loves Rachel Hollis. Um, one of my favorite books that I've listened to on Audible, oops, nope, stop, is The Morning, Miracle Morning. Um, this is like, if you are wanting to turn, be a morning person or, um, not even that, it's just like a really good morning routine and, um, explains all about how to do it and the benefits of the Miracle Morning and I have done the Miracle Morning and I still kind of do it, but I would like to get back into that. Um, and then also one of my most favorite books ever that I've ever read. I read this book. I have a hard copy of it, but I also listen to it all the time. It's just The Untethered. It's called The Un Untethered Soul. And it sounds like it. I don't know. When I first saw the book, I was totally judging the book by the cover. But it's basically just a really, really... Um, great book that every human should read. It talks about like the the thoughts in your head and how the thoughts you have in your head are not truth. It's just thoughts and you don't have to believe them or act on them. It's just really interesting and I like to listen to that book when I go for walks or um, whatever. Like when I'm driving my car because I have a commute to work. Um, so I really enjoy listening to books on Audible. Um, and that is pretty much it for today, you guys. So we're going to be leaving um, soon to go hang out with our friends, go to a movie, maybe get some dinner. So that's pretty much it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. Um, I'll be doing my pregnancy update for weeks 21, 22 here soon. And I was even thinking of doing a couple of videos because um, I'm going to be organizing and decorating and really like um, getting this house together because I guess I'm in nesting mode with this baby um, and I think I might film some of that process just the whole nesting process as we um, start you know, decorating organizing our house up so let me know if that sounds interesting and fun to you guys it's pretty much our only goal for 2019 is have this baby and like get our house nice and decorated and how we want it so yeah what are your guys' goals for 2019 i would love to hear um i set goals all all year round and i'm like i said i'm a big planner and stuff so i don't really just um set new year's resolutions i don't even make a big deal out of that it's just kind of like i'm always setting goals so yeah but i would love to hear if you guys have any new year's resolutions or goals or whatever um, let me know in the comments below and thanks again for watching and I will catch you in my next video bye guys